Hello all, what I'd like to show you today is just a real brief uh, quick tutorial on Photoshop Touch. It's the new application from Adobe to uh, be installed on the iPad. What you see in front of you is an iPad 2. You're going to catch two videos. One will be what's happening on the iPad and the other will be my obviously my hand gestures. I think it's important to, to put both of them on this. So let's go ahead and let's fire up Photoshop Touch. And uh, what you'll see is in front of you, I've already kind of taken some steps to um, look for some images that we're going to work with. So I went into the Google piece of, of Photoshop Touch and I typed in blue sky and I've already, I already kind of know which one I'm going to look for. I'm going to grab this one real quick here. Once it fires up, I'm going to add that into my composition and I'm going to go back and get another one real quick. I want some birds. So I'm going to get wipe that out and type in flying birds and we'll search and there's a particular one I found too as well which has worked well for me in the past so the workflow is pretty much going to be here it is right here we're going to add that one once this comes up the workflow is primarily going to be I'm going to take the bird out of this picture right here and I'm gonna put the bird in the sky. So it's, it's gonna include the Scribble Selection Tool, which is a brand new tool in Photoshop Touch. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to use that real quickly. I'm gonna stay, you'll notice your layers palette is over here on the right side. I've only got two layers in, one being the sky, the other being the bird. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on the bird layer and I'm gonna grab the, the uh, Scribble. And there are two modes in the Scribble Selection. There's a Keep and a Remove. So I want to expand this out. Let me use my touch gesture. So let me step back here. And I want to really expand this out. So I just want the bird in the middle. I want to be on keep. And what I'm going to do is just outline the outside of the bird with my finger. You may want to use a stylus at this point if you got one, but I'm doing an okay job with my big fat finger here. And I'm going to scribble through. That's the part I want to keep. I'm going to transition over to remove. And I'm going to highlight all the way around the remove. I keep going all the way around. And the selection's not bad. I know I've got some, some areas that didn't get quite selected. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the refine edge piece. I'll look, take a look, real quick look at what my brush size is. That's pretty good. But you can choose, you can change the brush size just by sliding, sliding on the, uh, the dialog box there. And all I'm going to do is kind of go over the edge of the bird with my brush. And as you'll notice, as I let go, the selection gets a little bit more refined or a little bit more detailed in nature. And once I get done with all of the edges, you will see that once I go back, the selection will be tighter to the bird. I've actually done a pretty good job with that bird selection. So now what I'm going to do is I need to cut it out of here. So I'm going to head on over to... Uh, the, uh, the cut panel, and you've got other commands in here, but I'm just more focused on the scribble selection at this point. So I'm going to cut that out. I am going to deselect the selection. And then what I'm going to do is I don't need this layer anymore. So what I'm going to do is just delete this layer. I delete the layer and I'm back to my sky, but now I can still paste. So I'm going to go back to my menu command. I'm going to paste. It pastes in. It also gives me the option right away to resize. So I'm going to go ahead and resize. And I'm going to move that bird roughly right about there. Looks good. So I get out of the, uh, the, uh, the move process. And you'll notice that within Photoshop, when we cut and pasted the regular traditional Photoshop, you would have another layer. Uh, actually, the, the bird would become part of the sky layer. In this particular case, you're going to notice that it's its own layer, which is kind of an interesting process for Photoshop Touch to use. So I'm almost done. The last piece I want to do is I want to crop it to make the uh, viewer focus more on the bird than anything else. So I'm going to go back to my tools. I'm going to slide down to the rectangle selection and I'm going to draw a rectangular selection over what I want and just crop out the edges. Let go of that. There's my selection rectangle. And the last piece I want to do is go up to the ampersand menu up above and here's where your fills and strokes are. And I push crop. I choose crop and then I select done. And there we go. There's my bird flying out of the sky right now.